These are the first science images released by NASA, taken through the James Webb Space Telescope, the world's most powerful space telescope ever built. NASA has released five stunning images of deep space. This is the deepest we have ever seen into space. The telescope has produced the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. Known as Webb's first deep field, this image of galaxy cluster SMAX 0723 is overflowing with detail. Thousands of galaxies, including the faintest objects we have ever observed in the infrared image, have appeared in Webb's view for the first time. This slice of the vast universe is approximately the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length by someone on the ground. In this image and all the images of stars and galaxies, telescopes act as a time machine through which we can see into the past as this image shows the galaxy cluster as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. For reference, how old is 4.6 billion years? This is even before Earth was formed at 4.5 billion years ago. The combined mass of this galaxy acts as a gravitational lens magnifying much more distant galaxies behind it. Gravitational lensing can be seen in this image as the long elongated curves of li light around the central galaxy cluster. The gravity of the cluster is distorting and warping our view of what's behind. That's why these galaxies appeared as stretched and pulled by the gravity of the cluster. The small galaxies in the background are red due to redshift and are one of the oldest galaxies about 13 billion years old. They were formed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. If you compare these images taken by JWST and Hubble, you can see that there is a large number of red galaxies in the JWST image, which have completely disappeared. This is because JWST looks much deeper into infrared than Hubble, and you can see galaxies that have been redshifted beyond what Hubble can see. Researchers will soon begin to learn more about these galaxies, their masses, ages, composition, and history. This is the second image by JWST and is not an image but atmospheric spectra of exoplanet WASP-96b. It might not seem interesting to some of our viewers, but images like these will help us find aliens. The telescope has captured the distinct signature of water along with evidence for clouds and haze in the atmosphere of this exoplanet. WASP-96b is a gas giant exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star. It is about 1100 light years away from Earth. Images and atmospheric spectrum of exoplanets is obtained when an exoplanet passes in front of its host star and there is a slight variation in the brightness of the star. Hubble Space Telescope has also analyzed number of exoplanet atmospheres and found water there too, but those planets were much closer to Earth only a couple of hundred light years away. But WASP-96b is much more further. After this, Webb captures a dying star, introducing NGC 3132 or Southern Ring Nebula, a planetary nebula in Vela constellation. Its distance from Earth is about 2500 light years. The image of NGC 3132 reveals two stars close together within the nebulosity. The central star of planetary nebula is a white dwarf and the fainter of the two stars. This hot central star of about 100,000 Kelvin has now blown off its outer layers and is making the nebula. It glows brightly because of the emissions of intense ultraviolet radiation from the white dwarf star. Webb will allow astronomers to dig into many more specifics about planetary nebulas like this one. Stefan's Quintent is the visual grouping of five galaxies which are about 300 million light years from Earth. The information from Webb provides new insights into how galactic interactions may have driven galaxy evolution in early universe. With its powerful infrared vision and extremely high spatial resolution, Webb shows details which were never seen before in this galaxy group. Here you can see sparkling cluster of millions of young stars and regions where new stars are born. Sweeping tails of gas, dust and stars are being pulled out from several of galaxies due to gravitational interactions. Webb also captures huge shockwaves as one of the galaxy NGC 7318b 
smashes through the cluster. The fifth image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope is this. This image is the edge of a nearby young star forming region called NGC 3324 in Carina Nebula. It is located roughly 7600 light years away from Earth. This infrared image reveals the previously invisible areas of star birth. These seemingly mountains are the edge of a giant gaseous cavity within this nebula. These observations of NGC 3324 will shed light on the process of star formation. Star birth propagates over time, triggering the expansion of the eroding cavity. As the bright ionized rim moves into the nebula, it slowly pushes into the gas and dust. If the rim encounters any unstable material, it increases pressure, will trigger the material to collapse and form new stars. The tallest peaks here are about 7 light years high. This area has been carved from the nebula by the intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds from extremely massive hot young stars located in the center of the bubble. James Webb Space Telescope took a photo of planet Jupiter also. In this image, we can see Jupiter with its multiple cloud bands, great red spot, and its moon Europa and Thebe. Interestingly, we can see its ring system also in one of these pictures. These were the first set of science images by JWST. If you are still not impressed with the quality of these images, consider the fact that these photos are having only a few hours of exposure whereas the similar Hubble Space Telescope images had exposure of several weeks. Thank you for watching this video.